Good morning, folks. Welcome to the big one. <laughs> and by that one, I mean uh, my weekly Saturday, like, mega stream. It's not, like, continuous, continuous, but, like, I'm going to be streaming all day. <clears throat> Three different games. One in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one at night. Morning one is slated currently to be Wayward because it's a cool little game and I enjoy it. So, yeah. So we're doing that. Afternoon will be Shadows Over Loathing, which is also a cool little game. And I am really enjoying it. And the evening time is going to be uh, Minecraft with the uh, Skyopolis 5 mod pack because I, it's cool. And it's a good, nice thing to continue playing after we uh, stop playing SevTech, which I played for like almost 30 weeks, <laughs> which was easily my longest running uh, little series or whatever on the thing. Good morning, 3Gs. Good morning. You're, you've are you arrived in this, uh, during the soapboxing moment because I need to uh, talk about the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which I'm fundraising for. It helps uh, pay bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention, particularly for those of LGBTQ, LGBTQ folks who um, just so happen to have that be a problem more often than not because, you know, we live in a society. Anyway, I am fundraising to help, help that. So if you're able to or willing to, I have a, a link below the stream. You can press the donate button. I have a command that plays every shows every once in a while. I have a direct chat command, exclamation point donate. And yeah, there's more there's plenty of ways to help if you're able to. And if not, I understand. Money's the worst thing ever, but I so I understand if you're not able to help or unwilling to help cuz you got to take care of yourself too. I totally get that. But if you're able to help, I really appreciate you. All right, so now that that's done, how are you doing this morning, 3Gs? I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me so early. Granted, it's not as early as my Monday and Tuesday morning streams, but still, appreciate you nonetheless. Are you still, are you still doing your advent calendar thing for your teas? <laughs> Tell me more about what's going on. Ah, no, Ooh, okay, well, that's okay. I I, bas I got out of bed at like 7.37? Yeah, so I'm pretty uh, pretty recent to the world of the living myself. <clears throat> anyway, I can probably get the uh, get the game going while we're, while we're chewing the fat, so to speak. Ooh, yes. Music in this game is so good. <clears throat> I gotta take a sip of my coffee while we're just kind of vibing out to this like Mega Man. Where? Yeah, it's that. It's that kind of quality of music. Honestly, it's like old Mega Man games and their stuff. Let's move some stuff around. Last month off, we, we, fin we finished our garden. We've got this finished. We still have like a mess on the beach, basically, but. Well, that's a, uh, I'm gonna feed this, uh, this snake more uh, meat here because I think that when things are tamed they have a higher chance of dropping like their products or whatever which for, for snakes is scales which you can use to make a uh, 
armor. Like we have some scale armor, I think. Yeah, we've got some scale, a scale chest piece, a scale uh, belt. It costs a lot of scales. <laughs> But my revelation after last stream is that I think we have to get, have to go underground in order to. Um, I think we're gonna have to go underground to find any sort of real tangible metal. So I'm gonna my one of my first things is probably going to be trying to get some uh, torches made because you do not want to go down there without. A light source. Uh, so I just want to see if we have any anal fat. We do. So let's see. Torch. <clears throat> okay, so we need fabric. And, and two tallows. So we're gonna need a tallow, which I'm almost certain is this animal fat just like kind of like boiled down. We need a postal mortar and a fire source. Okay, that's not hard. I'm almost certain we have a postal mortar in here. So we're just gonna light a fire uh, like so. This also nicely refreshes our, uh, well, at least for one of them that was almost rotten. Hello, Digi Dragon. Thanks. Hello. 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 I, I like, I like, I quite like this game. It's a little indie game. It's a, uh, roguelike turn-based survival game where nothing moves unless you do. Unless you turn on the, uh, active gameplay mode, which I don't know if I would recommend because part of the charm of this game is... Sometimes having to strategize your way out of weird, bad shit that decides it wants to come after you. But good morning. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate ya. Now I will say, I try my best to chat in your, uh... Ah, oh, fucking ads. Well, I, I'll be more than happy to explain things as many times as necessary or as many times as desired, because... That's part of the thing of playing small games like this is explaining them to people so that people can understand kind of like what's going on with them. That just gives me some time to sip some coffee. Coffee! <laughs> we could just make candles, but I want to make this torch instead. So we need some fabric, which I think we're going to get fabric from this animal skin. Cause that, I thought that counted as um, fabric. Maybe it doesn't. I might have to make some... Uh, Well, I mean, and obviously this game is not meant to be voice acted English. It just sounds so. Yeah, Genshin. Yeah, it's pro. It's like it sounds. It sounds at least slightly less weird in Japanese because one of my friends plays Genshin sometimes, and she, um, I think she has the voices in Japanese. That sounds less weird than English, where like the words just don't carry. The same way that they would in like you know Chinese or whatever. Anyway, Hello, <laughs> good morning, good morning, Ventus. Thanks for stopping in. We are playing. This is this is our the first game of today's mega stream, which is uh, going to be uh, Wayward. It's a roguelike survival game, and it's looking like I'm not going to be able to use these uh, animal hides for the fabric. I think they I thought they could be used for. 
Mega stream! Yeah, I'm gonna be streaming like basically all day. Like, I'm starting now at like 8. Gonna go to like around like 11, and then me and my roommate are gonna probably have lunch. And then, um. What the fuck is this? What the hell's on my, my elbow? <laughs> anyway. I was just like, I was like, I was like just feeling my arm. I was like, what the hell's on my arm? Huh. All right, well, that's taken care of. Uh, anyway, like from like 8 to like 11, I'm playing this game. And then around noon or so, I'll be back with uh, Shadows Over Loathing, which is a delightful fucking game that I cannot recommend enough. I'll play that till like around like 4 or so, 4 or 5 or so. And then dinner time, and, and after that, the rest of the evening will be, uh, Minecraft with Skyopolis 5, which I like, I have a great, great time with it, and we're just kind of getting to the point where we can start automating a lot of things, so that's gonna be pretty fun, but we're here right now with Wayward, and my current goal is to use these two tallow I just made with, and we have to get some fabric first though, which I think we can make with, like, string or something, let's see... Fabric. If I could spell it right, that'd probably be useful. Uh, let's see. Bandage. Cotton fabric. If we had some cotton, we could uh, make your fabric pretty easily. Feather bedroll. That's neat. Um, sail. Tallow torch. Which is just what we're trying to make. Woven fabric. Which you can make out of cordage. Which, one advantage of having just like a spider fucking, kind of like a spider farm or something, is that we have a lot of this spider silk that we can actually use to make fabric. So that's not going to be in the world. So yeah, we can make some woven fabric out of our spider silk that we got on the floor here. Because we have two us, uh, we have two spiders that we've um convinced to to live here on our little ranch here <laughs> by convinced I mean they're just kind of stuck to this like hitching post forever and they crap out um, spider silk which they use to make string or in this case um, <laughs> or in this case I can use it to make uh, what you call it I need poles uh, these torches I'm trying to make because we're gonna have to go underground to see if we can find like some ore, like iron ore or copper ore or something. And not only is it dark down there, but there's some there's unsavory critters that live below the depths of the earth. All right, so let's grab some let's grab some branches. Dismantle them to get some poles, and then let's go ahead go back to crafting. We should be able to craft these torches, maybe. Maybe. Thank you. Thank. Thank you. All right. So one of these. Hmm. Can I like repair it? Okay. We repaired them so their drip is a little higher, which might matter because some of the things down below the depths of the earth are weak to fire damage. So you're gonna want to probably hit them with your torch or something like that. That. Just gonna clean up my bag a little bit. Uh, I think it was that. Is is one of these? Hmm. Oh, okay, I can just press the, the hotkey again to open the, a different backpack. Alright, so if I press the equals key, it opens that one, but it also opens this one. Okay, cool. So I've got like one or two needles in here. And I want to make some healing stuff for down below. Like, we got a suture here, because... Yeah. You, you want to not be bleeding out while you're dragging your carcass along the, the cavern floor. <laughs> I 
think before we get too carried away though, we're gonna start a fire and, and take a nap here on the floor in our little quote unquote bedroom. There's still a lot of work to do on the base, but Just look, looking at this mortal body and just like looking, I was like, why is there blood there? <laughs> Freaking human, the, the human body is a um, interesting creation, to say the least. Um, slept for nine hours? Must be nice. Uh, oh, we ha well, I also have these uh, goats. Well, I guess there's another one over there. We have these goats that we constantly have, have tamed. That, um, they eat leaves and they just kind of sit here and they get our taming skill up for free. Which, if we look at taming skill, gives us a higher chance of taming something. Increases the length. <clears throat> it essentially makes it easier to tame things, which... You don't have to tame things necessarily to get them to go get on these posts, but you know, might as well if you can. Anyway, all this was I'm gonna let's see we have a we have some water there, but we're gonna we're gonna get some goat milk <laughs> and drink it because it'll give us some uh, some hunger. I guess more hunger than uh, thirst, which is fine. It's just a, it's just f basically free food. I'm sure I could probably make cheese out of it or something, but eh. Oh yeah, there's a there's a wild spider over here. All right, come on. I know you're gonna come over here. Maybe. Oh, there, ooh, let's, we're gonna fight the shark. Actually, we just killed a shark with a stone axe. You love to see it. Okay, uh, let's see. Our hotkey for eight is the knife, so we'll start skinning it. And mmm, man, I just fought a shark. The spider does not stand a chance. Come here, chop. Got it. All right. <laughs> Oh, didn't mean to step on that. That's fine. I don't think I can do damage to it that way. Alright, so... Something I am interested in doing, however, is, um... Let's get, let's get some seawater. Let's light this fire here. Because I have a little campfire here on the beach specifically for things like this. And we're gonna combine some bone shards with these, uh, basically brains and shit of the shark that we just killed. We're gonna make some animal glue. And with that animal glue, we're gonna try to reinforce one of these torches to make it a little more durable. Alright, that torch has a bit more durability now. Alright, cool. And with the remaining fire, we can cook these fish steaks. And now we've got we got ourselves breakfast. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Okay, yeah, the other the other fish steak is gonna like last a bit longer. Okay, let's put this shark tooth up here so that it will get used up before my knife does when I'm more like cutting things or dismantling things that need cutting. Let's see, let's cook some, let's cook this spider meat, because we might as well. We'll put all of our food in this bag here, we'll just keep it open. Let's move this over here as well. Oh! I was nearly burned by your equipment, oh yeah, that's because there's a... Uh, I forgot I lit that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me just being a, a doofus. Oh, now I definitely would. Now I definitely let myself on fire. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I never said I was smart. <laughs> I was just like, oh look, this. Get some charcoal. That's great and all. 
Drop all these ashes with the other ashes. I'm just gonna leave this shark fin here, cause whatever. Uh, we have all all these solar stones are currently have have water in them. So we're gonna just like fill our thirst up. And then re, re basically reload the still so that we Okay, we're gonna swap these containers out because I want some water to go down with me into the caves. And I'll grab this other bottle. I probably should get more bottles for this purpose so I can just uh <clears throat> do this more easily, but that's fine. Okay. I don't this might be overkill because I might not be down there very long, but I think I might tend to be a way to do that, that I just did that. I wasn't expecting to do it that way, but you know, it's fine. Alright, so, with some, with some of these, uh, I guess it's charcoal, but you can you can use it to make some medicine. I'm gonna take a thing of medicine with me too, in case something down there poisons me, I guess? I don't know. Anyway. Let us equip this to the main hand, and we'll light it on fire. And now we have a fire torch, and you're asking, well, where are we going to go to get down? I found this entrance to the under underground area uh, last stream, I think, when I was just kind of clearing out some area. I was just like, oh, well, I guess we found a way down. So, yeah, we'll just, uh... Wait, is that still... Oh, it's a collapsed cave entrance. Can we dig it out? Yes, we can. Okay. And we'll just... Drop this soil. Drop this rock. And let's see what we got down here. Let's see, there's some tin. Some talc. Some more tin. A tattered map. That sounds cool. Let's pick that up. Uh, some Lots of tin. A locked wooden chest. We need to make a lock pick for that, but that sounds cool. Lots of tin, but so far nothing else. What is this? Uh, pile of rocks. Oh, all right. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, a pile of bones that appear to be stirring. Well, that means there's probably a skeleton that's gonna spawn over there after we walk near it. So let's uh, explore. Otherwise. Limestone, that's a good find. Another locked chest. Copper ore, that's the first one I've seen. More copper ore. It might be worth it a while actually picking that up, since I haven't seen any other copper ore in the walls yet. And we might be able to turn that into something useful. So let's head back and grab this one too. Another chest. Alright. Oh! These... These damn piles of rocks on the floor. Hydrate! Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee and I'll chase it with some of this bottled water I have from work last night. Mmm, coffee. 
so that I can claim that I actually am drinking some water. <laughs> Crack and knuckles. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh no, not like this. <laughs> You're gonna make me have to put a lemon out that on that, aren't you? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> yeah, I got I gotta try to figure out some better things to use uh, channel points for that aren't just like hydrate. You can drown the bean. What do we have here? A wooden arrow. Hmm. Lots of lots of tin. So I guess that goes well with the cop bits of copper we found. Hmm. That is a wooden spear. Kind of weird that it's just kind of here. Yeah, I, I will admit I was doing sips, like decently sized sips with like the barrage of hydrates because I guess it still counts as hydrating. <laughs> because I mean, I don't need to drink a full amount if I'm not like that thirsty. That seems a little wasteful of the water. Gulp. <laughs> Gulp, 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 gulp. Alright, that one was less of a sip. Okay, so. That's actually a pretty sizable area. We just kind of walked around with just one torch. Oh, there is some coal down here. And there was some limestone as well. There's a skeleton. Well, we got nothing be better to fucking do. You hit a skeleton for, for four damage with a lit tele torch. Blunt and fire appear to be both effective and ineffective. You know, kill a skeleton. Two bones and an orb of influence. Ooh. I, I vaguely remember these being uh, either very good or very bad. Where you can like rub it and gain either a lot of malign or a lot of benign. And I'm going to have to look up which thing does what <laughs> before I even remotely touch it. Because I don't want to like rub it and go like deep into malign and have all sorts of like nasty stuff spawn and try to kill me. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Oh, rude ass. And you dropped uh, a bark shield. Cool, I don't care. So what is uh, coal? Okay, I'll grab it. It's, I mean, it's free. Oh, damn it. I don't want that. I don't want that. I have a suspicion I'm, sp I'm gonna have to travel to a different island to find uh, stuff that's not tin. Because as I can barely find copper down here. I haven't found a rock formation of it. I found like little stray pieces. So I'm suspecting that, that they've uh, imp implemented it where I've ha I have to go to other places to get other ore and then come back. So we might have to pivot towards, um... Oh, hello! Thought I killed you. <laughs> Did you come back? It must have came back. Alright, give me your bones. I was gonna let, just let sleeping skeletons lie, but no, I just decided I wanted to come back to life. So let's uh, let's uh, 
You've, you've lost bone privileges. <laughs> ah, my bones! <laughs> Ay, caramba, my bones. Uh, was there any other skeletons this way? I think that might have been the one, like, major skeleton encounter down here. Other than the other one in the little kind of closed off area. Uh, kind of hard to tell down here. It's a little hard to see. But I think we've kind of found the, the edges of... Like, the area that we're able to really explore down from this cave area. There's a lot of, t of tin down here. So if we can get some, uh, bronze, we can get, we can figure out how, what to do with this, uh, copper. That could be good. Uh, let's, um, extinguish our torch. This torch still has lots of life left into it. Which is nice. Let's see. Copper baking tray. Mmm. Let's see. Copper ingot takes talcum powder, copper ore, a sand cast flask, tongs, and a nearby lit furnace. I think it was the sand cast flask that was that was more like one of the weird like things you have to craft to do metalworking and like it was like never shown anywhere. How to do any of it? Because this game's this game's great, but like the info the info on it is pretty scarce. We have to make like green sand, which is refined sand, and clay flakes, which is like yeah, it's like weird. I'm sure it's based in like reality of some kind, but like yeah. Okay, let's put our axe back on for any anything else that wants to fucking fight us. Uh, can we turn these bones into, uh... We can turn them into bone shards. Good. That's useful. Thanks for all the bones! Oh, I just... Dismantled the... Bone shards I had. I'm a, I'm a fool. I'm a damn fool. I was like, oh, I'm gonna click that because that's yeah, that's what I want, but that's not how that works. <laughs> I was supposed to be dismantling the bones for bone shards. Bone shard of offering. Huh. Well, you can uh stay on the ground with the rest of the shit, I guess. Anyway. <laughs> So if we made a sand cast flask, we could make, um, we could make, um, words, we could make, uh, some copper, but I don't know if, like, there's anything really worth a shit to do with the copper. Let's see, we got some coal in here. Let's put that away. I've got a feeling we're gonna have to go to a different island in order to um, do anything with metalworking because it's probably just not possible to do it all on like one island. At least maybe not, maybe not this first island. Can you um, not be in the way, please? Thank you. Oh yeah, we did plant like a bunch of cucumbers down here. <laughs> I was like, I was like, that's a lot of shit. The answer is, and the reason, and of course it is. Bunch of free lettuce. Mmm. 
That's the best kind of lettuce, it's free lettuce. <laughs> Uh, let's see, six. You know, we're, we'll, re we'll replant the lettuce. I don't have any reason not to, really. Okay, that spot's empty, the spot, so we'll plant it here. Gotta level up of some kind. More lettuce. <laughs> Well, these cucumbers are ripe, so we can uh, harvest. Chop it down. We can uh, dismantle one of them to get the seed back. Replant. That way you can spread to have more cucumbers happen. I guess let's just eat. <laughs> let's just eat some lettuce. Mmm. Filled our hunger up. Good, did a good job of filling our thirst up too. Let's head back up to the base. Drop off these seeds and stuff. gonna need these needles I just like accidentally made so we're probably just gonna put them in like a pile on the floor here we got a lot of apples that we can eat Let's look at the stats for uh, apples. Plus one, plus plus or minus, plus zero to two, plus eight, plus zero to two, plus two zero to two, and plus one zero to two. So, eating apples has no down have no doubt has no downsides other than you have like a million apple seeds. We're gonna put this lettuce and this cucumber away. Cause they have a pretty long shelf life, but that'll make it even longer. But we're gonna grab some of these apples out for for snacking. Good old snacking apples. Snackles. <laughs> Alright, uh don't need this rock on me. I'll just put it in the pile with the various other rocks. Uh don't really need this um map either. I don't think I can do anything with it quite yet, so. Yeah. I think we can make, like, a boat of some kind. Yeah, we can, we can, we can, make, we can legitimately make a sailboat. <laughs> Which is probably something we're gonna want to do because we're gonna have to probably go to um if we go to the edge of the map we can go to another island i think that's how we get to find like metal and stuff because there's just nothing here other than tin which isn't gonna do us very good let's see orb influence i'm gonna look that up real fast because yeah Okay, rubbing this thing counterclockwise will lower our malign. So, we always want to do that because doing stuff that improves our, like, our, like, our armor or weapons or whatever 
usually generates a malign. Plus, getting levels up in like strength and stuff. So, counterclockwise it is. As you see. That gave us like an extra like 5k benign to play with. Which is nice, because that means we can do more stuff without having to worry quite as much about having nasty monsters come after us. Anyway, our current goal is going to be now to get a sailboat, which means we need to get a sail. Let's see what a sail takes. Uh, three strings, three fabrics. Alright. Well, we can get the fabrics fairly easily, I think. From our spider farm. I say as we are, like, out of that now. But there are more, there are more, uh, fibers over here. We just have to pick them up and... Have this, hopefully the spiders aren't going to bother us. Okay, that one decided it wanted to bother us. That's okay. They don't do very much damage. So I don't really mind or care. There's also some spider poop over here, too. Okay. We can also take apart some of this bark to get cordage pretty easily, too. Which is probably even easier than dealing with the spiders, is because when you cut down trees, you get bark, and each bark turns into two cordage, so that's pretty easy. And now, what does a sail need? Because I have the free fiber. Uh, string, okay, that's that's even, that's pretty easy too, because we have just like a, a big pile of string over here. We're probably going to fail crafting this a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, now we got to get another fiber. <laughs> another fiber, because... Yeah, the fiber we did have um, did not survive the winter, so we gotta we gotta get some more. That's okay. We've got like how much is like fifty three tree bark, so we can make plenty of fiber for now. Let's get dismantle. All right, cool, we made the sale. So I think now we need like a boat paddle or something, which I'm almost certain uses, um, let's see, a boat paddle. It does use tree bark and it's string and it needs a pole. Okay, so let's get two bark. Let's get like, pa da 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 <laughs> Just, uh, let's see. Grab another string, and then we'll get a pole from our pile of branches over here. Yeah, fuck you, goat. That's why I built a, fi I built a fence around there, is because the go the critters can and will just get into your your plants and fuck it up. They will gleefully do so. Okay, there's our pole, so we should be able to make the paddle. All right, and then for the sailboat, I think you can make a slight, you can make like a raft, which, you know, also works, but I want to make this because, I mean, yeah, it's a sailboat. That sounds cool. Got a bunch of other string over here I just realized we have. Uh, let's see, so we need ropes. Okay. 
Okay, there's two ropes. And I think the last thing is gonna be like six planks, which I think we can get that actually from dismantling these logs. Okay, this goat's just kind of randomly wandering over here. Our woodworking skill is not very high, so... Oh, okay. A vessel at hand, you are no longer bound by the tides of Isles of Calm Breezes, which are our, um, our home. Our home island, where we crashed on. Now, something we're absolutely going to be doing is is reinforcing this boat with, like, glue. Now we got a little boat. Isn't that cute? I think it's really cute. Very cute. We got a little. We got a little little boat. We got a nice little boat. <clears throat> Let's drop this uh, stuff off. Drop all this stuff too. Move this stuff to its proper home here. See extra drop from a goat. I just watched a goat take a take a dump. That's, we love. Well, we didn't really watch it. It just kind of happened in the vicinity, I guess. All right. Well, we got we got fluids. We got food, so we probably could sail on our boat. But I want to um, reinforce that boat with some glue to give it just even more durability. Because each like tile you sail probably takes a durability, I would imagine, and we don't want that to wear out because we just spent a decent amount of resources and time making it. So I'm gonna wander around a little bit and either find like some rats or find uh, some slimes to get some glue. Oh, there's a bunny, but that's not really what I'm, that could work, but I don't wanna waste any, uh... I don't wanna get gain a bunch of malign for killing a bunny for no real good reason. What is this? Tree? Okay, whatever. Actually, a spruce tree? Perish. I don't like spruce. In real life, spruces are fine, but in this game, they're a waste of time because you, you, you pick spruce cones from them, but you have to dismantle them and then plant the seeds. And they're not any better than any other tree, so it's just like aesthetics, I guess. Which are fine, you know, aesthetics are great and all that. And while we're at it, if we are going to do metalworking, we are going to need some clay flakes. So we are going to need some clay, so we might as well get some here. <clears throat> so I'll grab what clay I can. The good thing about having like a uh, a, a, bl a blue knife like this is that like it's it being a blue knife gives it more higher chance of making better things too so like crafting high tier stuff is usually a good idea for especially in case of like a knife or whatever because it, it can it can kind of cascade and having a lot of better things now we're gonna like turn some of those into uh, the flakes that I was gonna make anyway. So I'm just kind of wandering around. It's 
See if we can find a slime or like a rat or something. Either will do just fine. <laughs> yeah, I either either a rat or a slime will serve the same, basically the same purpose of letting us make glue to make our ship a little better. Oh, something we had rotted. Can't I can't remember what it was. Cooked spider meat. Oh, yeah, pro that's probably a, a thing that. Yeah, you, you can have that. <laughs> Enjoy. I'm also kind of like trying to passively run around and see if we can find like cotton or something. I'm just kind of running on, running through the night, trying to see if we can get any critters to spawn. They normally don't really have a problem, but like, hmm. If I sleep, I bet, I bet I'll get one to visit me. There's also an underground entrance, too, over here. I kind of forgot about that. Let's go around this way. We'll, like, kind of nap at the entrance to this cave. So we can get the, the glue that we wanted. All right, so let's just uh, sleep on the ground. We should have a rat or something come visit us. Unless we just get unlucky and then are in the area. Oh, yeah, I guess, I guess no rats decided to spawn. All right, cool, whatever. Well, in celebration of us just not getting ambushed by a rat, let's uh, eat some stuff. Okay, we got that. And as far as our... Let's get our hunger down to, to 20. I think if you drink or eat when your hunger is full, you can hurt yourself now. So let's... uh. Kind of wander around a little bit. <laughs> there we go. So what I'm gonna do is uh, drink one of these. Yeah, drink a bottle of water. Scoop up this fresh water. It's here on the ground. We're gonna just start a forest. Not a. Well, it's not technically not a forest fire, but it is a fire kind of in the forest. So we can purify that water. So we have our water again. And we're gonna see what's in this cave. Partially because I didn't really find what I was looking for animal-wise, so let's kind of go on a little adventure. Oh wow, such adventure, much exploration. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Can't believe I was kind of a little scared to go down that place. There's literally nothing there. Barely even, I mean, I was, oh, there's a slime. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna just bully this slime. Come here. Oh, I, was, I was hoping that beating it with a, uh, a, a torch would make it split. Since it's ineffective damage, I was hoping that would, like, have that effect, but it did, in fact, not have that effect. Hmm. I wonder if I really investigated this mountain side over here. I remember coming over here grabbing some walls and, like, the doors from this little hut here, but not really looking around the mountain side. Maybe there's some goodies here that we could use. Just random... <laughs> Bone bits and animal hides. Let's see that. We'll just break that so it's easier to get around. Let's see, that is talc. That's tin. That's kind of what I was expecting anyway, but you know, so it, it it's helpful to like have hope in your heart sometimes.
<clears throat> well, this carrot grew, so let's uh, plant the carrot again. No, re no real reason not to. <coughs> Excuse me. I can plant this carrot over here, rather. Is that a scarecrow? An inanimate far farm mannequin that you almost mistake for being real at first glance. Well. I mean, I haven't really figured out how to um, get the, um, how to do cooking yet again in this game. I'm guessing I need like a bowl of some kind that I just don't have the means to do anything with just yet, so. Per perfect timing for us needing the. Oh, there's a chicken. I didn't know there were any of those living around here. That is a good use of. Uh, that is a good. Uh, we're, we need to make another hitch for that. Because chickens can give you uh, eggs, which can make more chickens. <laughs> There's this, this goat is still just like causing a ruckus over here. <clears throat> let's uh let's ally this goat. I guess it didn't want pine needles. Want you want to try that again? No, it, it in fact does not want pine needles. How about leaves? It has been it has been pacified with leaves. All right, well. Come this way, I guess. <laughs> Let's steer clear of our spider farm, because they are not tamed spiders, so if we have any tamed critters that get near them, they will fight them. Yeah, as, there's a goat up here. There's probably a few more goats up here. As I kind of bring the goats up here that wander near my place, because I don't really need goats. I don't need more goats than I already have, rather. All right, so we're gonna release you. It's gonna run off and do whatever it is that goats do. Here we got rabbits. Oh, there's another chicken up here. Oh, we have another visitor, hello. Let me uh, quit my ax before I start trying to club this shark to death with a, with a freaking torch um, yeah our skill our skill and tactics are high enough to where we can uh, have um, we can fight sharks with just I mean our, our gear is much better than it was when we first started on this island with like like a, a cloth shirt and cloth pants You are carrying too much weight. Oh no, the weight of the world. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot less um, than it used to do when you're carrying too much. You used to take off a lot more stamina when you're overweight. For now, I guess we're gonna drop all this uh, raw clay here. I don't really need to have it there. We'll drop these two here. All right, so we have an empty bottle. Let's eat this apple before it goes bad. I'll see this one too. Like apples have a pretty impressive shelf life, but it can only go for so long. Okay, so we have a bone fragment from that we found on the ground. We've got some offal, so we can make two things of glue because we can use the slime as well. So let's gather some seawater and then we'll make the animal glue. Oh, you can actually just use the bone itself. Okay, that's cool. Don't gotta break it down. Okay, then we can make the slime glue as well. 
And let's go to our little ship here and um, pick <laughs> pick up a sail. Just pick up a sailboat, as you do. Uh, let's see. Reinforces slime glue. That gives it a lot of durability. And then let's reinforce that with animal glue. Let's, let's try that again. So that has 42k durability. Let's repair it. Now our little sailboat has a lot more um, durability. So let's build it there. And I guess we're going to go sailing to a different island and see what we can find. But before that, I want to make a hitch and get a chicken uh, attached to it. Probably like up there above where the goat is. So hitching posts, we need three logs and a rope. Okay, that's not too bad. So let's get the rope. Okay, and now we need three logs, which I mean, we could probably just get from like any tree. Like there's a tree right here actually that's uh, dead. So it's probably like the ideal tree to get it from. Okay, we got the hitch. That was a heavy ass animal pelt, gotta say. Drop these plant roots, because they are a medical item. Drop this bone. Yeah, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a lot of seeds that we're gonna be able to feed to this chicken when I get it put put down. Like when I get it uh captured or whatever. We might need to tame this spider very briefly. I don't want to use a shark meat for it though. Hmm. And basically we just have the chicken somewhere else. Like maybe the chicken can go over here. Yeah, for now we'll just put the chicken over here. It'd be a lot easier to get the chicken in place anyway, so we have to go find it. The chicken now, the the, the 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 wayward forest chicken, you know. It's down here somewhere. There's a rat. The only really good thing to do with that those would be good for taming would be they give you poop. Up oh, here is a chicken. We kind of have to like kind of corner it a little bit, and then we have tamed the chicken. Come on, chicken. We have we have tamed the the, the the crafty bird. It's still tamed. Okay, it is. Feathers, eggs, meat, and more. Yeah, they also make poop. I think. I mean, of course they do. They're chickens. That's like the thing they do. Other than make more chickens. All right, we have a chicken. <laughs> Perfect. And we can do the same thing with the with the the goats as we do with the chickens. We can just uh, I I make poop sometimes. Oh shit! You're not supposed, you're not supposed, you're not supposed to tell your your secrets like that. Behold a man. <laughs> Getting that first badge. Congratulations. Seed. Do I have any other other apple seeds? Wait, we've got apple seeds. I'm not gonna plant this many damn apples. Let's be real. So we're gonna like this chicken is now gonna have like food for the rest of its fucking natural life. <laughs> okay, let's drop drop that. You know what, chicken? You can even have these carrot seeds too, because I just don't care for it. <laughs> Carrot. Nah, nah. Alright. Let's 
cook this shark meat. Some nice, some nice, nice food there. Remarkable uh, maple seeds. I should probably plant those somewhere. I think it's what I was doing here. Is I planted a uh, a uh, a remarkable, uh, not a remarkable, a superior maple tree here, which means that whenever its stuff is ready, we should be able to grab uh, superior seeds. And having higher tier logs and poles is one of the basis for having higher tier stuff in general. So on that note, we're going to plant like all these. Sit down some dirt so we can plant these all in our little nice little row. more of these apples that are like in the process of going bad. Because once these go bad, they'll just turn like to rot or they'll just disappear. We can also take this pemmican with us. So now we've got some more water. <clears throat> yeah, it's container, drink. Pour, attach container. All right, I think we're ready to go see what is off in this direction because I'm gonna suspect that um, Oh, look at look at us go that we're like near the edge of the map on this side Your skill in seafaring is raised to one. I didn't know that was even a skill Allows tra allows traveling to further islands in a single trip reduces the stamina cost of encumbrance while paddling Which is the time it takes to travel between islands therefore reducing the hunger and thirst gain on the voyage the damage dealt to the boat and the amount that items decay so we should probably just sail around to get our skill up a little bit too. Okay, so this is the edge of the map. Oh, this is cool. There's like all the islands we could go to. Hmm. Are you sure you want to travel to another island? Food and water are recommended. Um, 
Let's not just yet, because I probably want to actually get a, more water with me. It seems. Who knows, maybe we'll get a bunch of sharks to come visit us so we can get some food too. Like we're just like in a boat, just taking water bottles out of these stills. How much do these weigh? Not much. We're gonna take four of these with us. Cause that'll make it to where we could like get renewable water wherever we happen to land. Cause these will be fine here. Like. Uh, I should. I think I'll be fine food-wise, especially if we find some more sharks. It's actually kind of explored on this way. Well, I was hoping we find some more sharks for some more num-nums, but yeah, it's fine. Let's go to this island. Let's generate the island. The frigid glaciers. Ooh. All right, Ark. You're feeling empty and lethargic as your body begins to consume itself. <laughs> you're not yourself when you're hungry. You depart from the island of calm breezes, traveling to the frigid glaciers. You, lo you lose 20 stamina, gain 19 hunger, and gain 19 thirst while traveling. Well, that's fine. That's why we brought water. We'll just eat these uh, carrots. Like, first. Right, and this uh, shark meat gives six hunger. We'll eat that. And we'll drink another bottle of water, and we'll be right as rain. Alright, let's figure out what I got myself into, because I have no idea. Well, that about that sounds about right. <clears throat> like an ice sheet here. Getting a good amount of like um, sailing XP. Uh, like glacier actual what's going on here ah maybe we should leave this island because it's really cold yeah we're, we're gonna leave this place and come back when we have better armor because we're very cold and that's making our hunger go up or rather down All right, well, we're back, so we might as well just, like, regain our supplies and go to a different island instead. And we'll eat these worms, too. That's just part, that's just part of the, uh, the thing we did. Thank you, Hachiko. I try to have, I try to, I try to have stuff, like, my main focus in general, or, like, is, like, the content I'm doing, like, so I have, like, the game window as big as possible. But I figured the bottom left corner is usually like the less, least like useful overall. So that's kind of where I have this, the little other things. But thank you. Uh, it's like a little house. <laughs> Hell yeah, little house. We're currently playing Wayward, and I'm I made a sailboat, and we're currently um, sailing, and I need to head up the coast a little bit more. 
back to our little house here. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Open the dad garage. Yes. <laughs> I like that. Uh, let's see. We've... Let's get off our little boat. As cute as as cute as it is, let's uh, leave the boat in there. Uh, let's see. Oh, the sailboat can hold items too. Hmm. All right. Well, you're gonna go on there. You're gonna go on there. We're gonna take some solar stills with us, so whenever we find somewhere we want to actually kind of start setting up a base at, we can have those to have re at least renewable water when we get there. As long as it's daytime, of course. <clears throat> All right, well, we gotta refill our hunger now because we just kind of started sailing around <coughs> like like a bunch of goobers. Let's go to our little food chest and start just start just eating apples. Mmm, <laughs> apples. If an apple if an apple a day keeps the doctor away, doctor's gonna stay the fu far fuck away from us. <laughs> We're just gonna just binge eat apples, cause they're, otherwise these are gonna just go bad anyway. And more, more, more seeds to feed our chicken. Cause we have a chicken friend now. Oh. Uh, oh, it's just a bunch of seeds. We have this chicken that we um, convinced to um, live with us by tying it to a hitching post. You know, it's, that's how you convince animals to join, be your friend. You just uh, capture them, right? Let's see. Unpurified, unpurified, purified, purified. Yeah, we're going to want some more water if we're going to travel to somewhere else. So we're going to detach these containers. We'll uh, get some of our empty containers, fill them with seawater. And then attach them back so that... We're not just taking water and not like replenishing it because that's a uh, bad idea. You don't want to do that when you're playing games like this that are uh, very um, not lenient to mistakes. <laughs> okay, so we got these four making water again. These ones still have water in them, so we could probably. take some water from them get attach the containers back let's grab another okay so we've got these six all desalinating seawater which is good we need to get some more food to take with us when we go to the next area Cause right now we just got we made a sailboat and we've got to explore other places to um like to explore other places so that we can um find other resources that we can't find on this island which right now to me seems like metals this island is it's a nice enough place but there's like no um no like there's very there's mostly just tin and very small amounts of copper here which is not enough to make make better gear. Which we're gonna want going forward, so we're gonna have to like go out and on a little adventure, which makes this pemmican that I've been storing up pretty useful. That'll be our food source while we travel around, I guess. All right, so we get our little boat, and then we can just kind of go sailing off this way again. Let's get to the edge of the map, and then that'll let us travel. Let's see what's over here. Are you sure you want to travel to another island? Food and water are recommended. Well, let's see where we land up. Wild Shores. A 
an ice cap. Well, that's also probably cold, so let's leave. Actually, we need to like refill our stuff before we leave, otherwise we're gonna probably take a lot of damage. <clears throat> Unfortunately, pumpkin is very dry, so you can you it can end up uh, causing you um, to be a little parched. Did we only have five pemmicans? Yeah, I guess so. Probably, or probably just tank some damage. <clears throat> Let's go to this one instead. Weedy Shores. <laughs> okay, it's another coastal, but so I don't know how useful that's gonna be to us. I also don't really know like what biomes there are, so maybe I should try to find that out real fast while I'm. Hmm. I'm gonna doing some research on the um <clears throat> on the different biomes so I can figure out if I need to worry about this ice one that I've found. Okay, let's see. So an arid place might be what we're uh, looking for. Because that would give us access to iron ore. So coastal is not going to do us any good. I, I kind of thought so. Uh, we're going to risk traveling without filling our stuff back up because I'll like we'll probably take like 20 damage but we'll risk it oh yeah that hurt us quite a lot <laughs> island of mosses wetland ooh, wetlands I think that's a new biome actually so yeah you you, you want to uh, replenish your um, your stuff between uh, island visits Instead of doing like me and just like not doing that, that's a bad idea. We might need to uh, make uh, landfall and uh, figure out some other thing. I think I could go this way to make a landfall. Just a hunch. Okay, it looks like we're on our way to... Well, in this case, I need to look up this biome now because I don't know if this is even on the wiki for the biomes because... 
Yeah, this this one's not on the wiki yet, so let's uh go to Google in that case. It's wayward wetlands. Yeah, they're, they're this um it does not appear that there's uh any info. some mud. There's a giant rat to, to greet us. Well, hello to you too. Bop. <laughs> Thanks for the skin. Mmm, yummy. There's a cypress cone, which these are cypress uh, trees. Spike rush. Whoa. Well, there's a bunch of giant rats. All right, well, they're really eager to give me some uh, rat meat, so I mean, I would be rude to, I would be rude to decline them that. Thank you. I think there's a spider there too. What's this? I thought there was. I thought I saw one. Hey, you better fucking run, asshole. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to temporarily uh, set up a little bit of a camp here to recoup our supplies. Although we could technically probably just leave and come back if necessary, but hmm. I mostly just don't even know what's like in this biome. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm basically looking at the a big ass change log for this update that this game is currently on, which is like wetlands and wheels and wetlands, which this biome is part of. Let's see. Hmm. 
I got a feeling that this place isn't going to be really worth our time yet. But, I mean, what do I know? Where's our little boat? Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> well, I found the spider again. Or maybe it found me. Oh, there's our little boat. Yeah, I don't want to lose track of our little boat because that's our way out of here. That would be a, uh, a bad time. It's got some seawater. Make some glue out of this. Uh, these are rat pieces that we got. Waste not, want not, and all that. Okay, then let's uh, pick up our boat, and we'll continue to con to continuously uh, reinforce this boat because it's very important to have a good boat. And he uses a lot of durability just sailing around. <clears throat> we can actually just sleep in the boat. That's cute. Oh! Hello! That's okay. Come here. Come here, shark. Oh, you can't. We'll just fight this shark. You come, fuck you. <laughs> just like, just riding a sailboat, fighting a shark, and tries to run away. We chase it down in a boat. <laughs> That's silly. I like that. It's just kind of funny. Shark 2 hacked up a shark corpse. Well, I, f I feel like that's our food problem solved. These uh, fish steaks are pretty good uh, source of, uh, of num nums there. Let's take a drink of some water. Now, if I'm going to explore this island, it's going to be in my best interest to, um... It's going to be in my best interest to put my, these, uh... These solar, these solar, um... Stills down. Oh! Don't do that, that's bad. Grab that back. <laughs> Thankfully, you can just kind of recraft these anywhere, otherwise that would have been a, uh, a bad time. Well, I would be rude to, to, to deny this shark the opportunity to fight me. Just get a bunch of free food out of it. Yeah, we're not going to have to worry about food while we're exploring this island because we keep just getting sharks coming up to us and um, giving us their uh, meat. It's very polite. They must be trying to welcome me to this island. <laughs> They're like, oh, here, have some food. Oh, gee, thanks. A, a cooked fish steak of aptitude. What does that even do? Uh -huh. Alright, well. We got these giblets that actually heal a pretty good amount of food on their own, but their their durability is 
questionable. So we're going to probably turn those into pemmican. Actually, we could probably just eat them now. Yeah, we'll just eat them now. And then what we can do is... Um, Shark tooth goes in the bag for any of our cutting uh, needs. Shark fins can kind of just go on the floor. And we can make pemmican out of this uh, tainted meat and the spider meat to use both of them up, but also make something that's not tainted meat. All right, then all our food is gonna go in our bag, which should, uh, Yeah, it gives us a uh, twenty percent of food preservation when stuff is when food is stored in here, so it'll last twenty percent longer, which is good. The pemmican will just last anyway. We'll just put it in there, any, whatever you know. It doesn't matter. Okay, in that case, let's go ahead and load these up. Kind of problematic that one of our Bottles is basically about to break. Yeah, we'll, we'll load these up and hopefully by the time we need them, they'll have water in them. Otherwise, this is gonna be a very short stay. We still have a bottle full of like medicine uh, water, so like if it ha if it comes to we will drink that. But let's see what we're dealing with. What is this? Cotton? Ooh, that's flowering. I don't think it's gonna give us it anything yet if we bother it. So we are not going to bother it. A uh, uh, mushroom. I like how the fog of war here is like. Fog over here is just like green. <laughs> uh, plant roots, probably useful to grab those. It would be nice to find some like cot some other cotton or stuff around here so that we could um, bring some cotton home and have a, a renewable source of easily obtained um, fiber pick the wrong pick the wrong critter to fight their slime <laughs> just swung at me did nothing and I just clobbered it with one swipe of my axe there's a spider why don't you come over here I got something to show you my axe <laughs> well shit food might not be a problem here because everything just wants to try to fight me What is this? Cattails. A reedy marsh plant that can grow in brackish waters or in dampened earth. They feature a unique looking cylindrical flower filled, filled a cottony mass of seeds. So that might be a plant we could bring back with us as well. Let's see. Ooh, some scales. Let's grab those. There's a snack. We'll just leave the snake alone until, unless we have to fight it, which then I guess we will at that point. But there's a lot of snakes. I mean, it, it's a it's a it's a swamp. Of course, there's gonna be a lot of snakes. There's a lot, a lot of snakes. Let's see, that's a cattail. Kind of looking for cotton, honestly. And or ooh, there's an underground area. more snakes um can I grab this water fill it to burn it it's working green hue is visible through the 
I mean, you could drink that, but you probably shouldn't. I'm curious if you can just like su superior cattails. I'm curious if you can just like boil this water to get drinkable water. Probably not. That seems like it'd be too easy. Yeah, that, that you can however use to make the slime. So that works for me. Recipes for filtered water. Hmm. Oh, no, no real clues on how to actually do that. So we're probably gonna just avoid the swamp water. Oh wow, there's, there actually is iron here, so this might this place might be worth our time after all. Okay, so and on that note, while we have the um, to turn off the uh, I need to turn on drop items on chop or whatever because our inventory is oh what are, the fuck are you a hobgoblin huh an odd looking humanoid dislikes your presence and appears to know how to use traps oh fuck you good thing you're over there and I'm not it's probably not gonna be over there very long <laughs> <laughs> but all right we're gonna like do that and then we're gonna drop all this uh granite and all this sharp granite okay let's see drop all sharp granites That, drop that, drop all this smooth granite. Okay. So we've got some iron that we can take back with us. Which I might immediately go back to the... Yeah, we're going to go back to the boat immediately and um, put that in our boat. So that we don't have to haul it around everywhere. Oh, well, all right, cool, thanks. <laughs> Also, let's check on our water, see how long it's, how well it's doing in the desalination uh, process. Morning, Spot Dart. Sorry about that. I was I was looking at wikis and trying to look at wikis and stuff. Good morning. Thanks for the hydrate. I'm gonna drink some coffee and I'm gonna drink some water. 
I am a big fan of this game, but one of the unfortunate things about this game is it's made by a very small team. So, um, info about it's a little sparse. <laughs> But we are playing Wayward, and we are currently heading back to our ship on the, uh, the coast over here. We sailed to this island from our, um, our home island. This is like a swampy island. Uh, we can see our solar stills up there. Let's uh, actually head back up there then. Let's see. Oh, these things are so good. They've already purified the water we poured in there. Alright, so let's uh, open our container, which is our boat, and we're going to dump all this iron ore that we found in here. Just move it all in there. But we used a lot of stamina to like jump over our sailboat. Um, we don't want to drink in front because that's where that's where seawater is. Uh, let's we're gonna continue using any and all glue we can get on our sailboat to just reinforce it. Cause yeah, having a high durability sailboat's pretty nice. We're gonna detach our containers of water. And we're gonna pick up our, uh, our solar stills. Because there was like a bit of a bit of a of sea that was closer to where we were just at with the um under underground. Cause one of our main purposes of points of coming to the to other islands is to get metal. Oh, hello, hello, shark. You want to give me some food? Oh. I'm beating it to, I beat it to the, to the torch. Whoops. Ah, Alright, well, whatever. Kind of forgot that I had the, uh, the torch equipped still. Let's, uh... Well, we're not going to worry about food, because, well... The sharks keep throwing themselves at me. We're at that kind of power level where we can just like fight sharks and win without even really taking any damage, so yeah, it's pretty nice. But yeah, as you can see, there's um this like little inlet here of sea. We are going to press five, dig up some dirt, set that dirt here. Build, build our, build, build our um, things back here. Let's drink some water while we're at it. This glass bottle is not going to survive very long. I should have fixed it before we left home, but it's a little late for that. If it comes out, we could probably tan some leather and put this, uh... Like we're basically living out of our boat right now, because this is not our home island. So we're gonna just, uh, start offloading some stuff into it. Our only purpose of really being here is to, um... Get some metal iron, because we want to make iron things. Oh, this... This bottle's got no durability left. Um, can I start a fire and then fix it? Oh, I have to be a, near a kiln specifically. Well, I can fix that. We can go make, we can just make a kiln. We have a lot of stone underground. A hobgoblin's not there anymore, though, which makes me a little, uh, slightly nervous. Uh, let's see. Make a kiln. We'll just drop the rest of the stones. 
Let's head back up top. We'll just kind of drop the granite kiln. Pick it up. Drop it. We're basically just like kind of cheesing the mechanics of the game to kind of pass this kiln along the beach. <laughs> pick up, turn, drop it, pick up, drop it, pick up, drop it, <laughs> pick up, drop it, pick up, drop it, pick up, drop it, pick up. Like, this is, like, the gamiest thing I've done in a while. Like, in anything. Just, like... Like... Just, like, malicious compliance with game mechanics. Like, oh, so if I drop something, I can go pick it up? Alright. Because, yeah, this, um, kiln is very heavy. Like, if you notice, my weight up there goes red. And if you move when you're overweight, you start losing stamina and eventually start hurting yourself. Which is not what we really want. So we're gonna just um, do the boot scoot boogie with this <laughs> across the floor. And I think here's a good spot for it. So we'll build this kiln, light a fire, and now we can repair our bottle. And our bottle now has eight more durability, which is fine. That's enough. We'll attach this container. Let's take a little bit of a rest on the ground. Get some st some stamina stamina back. Start another fire because this this kiln can also count as like a, a, a heat source for cooking, which is good because we got some we got some brains. Are we gonna need to cook before they go bad? Well, not brains, but like giblets or whatever. And we got all these sh these uh, fish steaks from the uh, the sharks that were uh, trying to. Oh, the, the fire source went out. I was like, wait, why won't you let me cook? <laughs> Alright. Okay, we're gonna just throw the, the shark fins in the water. It'd be funny if it summoned another shark, because if you drop stuff in the ocean, it can stir up a shark. So it'd be funny if I was dropping shark fins, made more sharks appear, and then we killed those sharks for more food and more shark fins. <laughs> it's a positive feedback loop of sharks. We're also going to drop this animal fat that we have from, I think it was some rats that uh, visited us earlier when we first got to the island. And we um, turned them into um, skins, if you, if you, if you want to say, say it that way. We converted them to skins. <laughs> All right, so we got some more water, which is good because we're gonna need to um, hydrate again soon. Let's eat the let's eat these giblets because they're gonna be the by far the first thing to to expire. They're pretty decent food, all all the same. I'll eat this spider meat too. It's not super filling, but that's okay. I guess we can eat these uh, batter locks too. It's like seaweed. Just kind of get them out of the way. Let's see. Ooh, we can actually make a lock pick, which might be nice because there are there are chests that exist underground that you have to use a lock pick on to open. In the meantime, though, we're gonna put all this uh, shark meat in our bag here to have it stay fresher for longer, because it's not exposed to the elements. I think with that, with we got more water, and we've got well, we don't have, we don't really fully have all of our stuff for this going. We can like walk around in the ocean here. Let's let's grab a little bit more uh, more. Uh, dirt here and what we can do is you can lay it down in the deeper water here to make it not deeper water which will keep make it to where 
Sharks can't go in this light blue water here, so when we're doing stuff in this water, the sharks won't be able to bother us. Big, like, big brain tip of the day if you play this game and you're doing stuff near the ocean is, uh, make sure that you are not exposed to this if there are sharks nearby, because they will come up to you and just bite your ass. Anyway, we got that there. Let's get some seawater. And we'll get the, the solar still going. Attach this container. These solar stills are very these solar stills are very overpowered because well, I mean they make water for you with the power of the sun. Ordinarily how you make water is you either find fresh water and boil it, or you have to make like a stone still that you heat with like fire, which costs resources, but these solar stills, you basically pour water in, attach a container, and then just kind of come back later. It's, they're very, 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 very good. A very good quality of life. Is this a dead cypress tree? Basically. But we got water, which we're gonna just actually drink some now. Matter of fact, we're gonna drink that, and then we're going to Pour water in there. Let's fix this bottle real quick, though. Because that, that bottle's been with us for a while, and we want it to stay with us for a while longer. Okay, and then we'll attach this bottle to the container. And now all the four of these will, over time, desalinate as long as it's, like, daytime and the sun is out. So, with that being said, we can now go back underground with our, uh, Porch, wherever it was, this one, and we'll ignite with our fire plow, and let's see what else is down here. This way, I saw hobgoblins show up, and I don't want to really deal with that. So we're gonna. I mean, I, I guess we could deal with that. Can I like build this? I can build this torch here. The fire is raging. And what we could do is we could uh, fight this critter. I don't know how strong this hobgoblin is, so this might be a very bad idea. Okay, never mind. It, it was it did not stand a chance. <laughs> we killed a hobgoblin. We got some tattered cloth trousers. Oh, ooh. Let me just take all of that, especially this Orb of Influence, because we can rub this counterclockwise to gain a bunch of freaking benign, which lets us just do a bunch of nice things for us. And we're also going to, ooh, you give good things, too. You give, like, not tainted meat. Mmm. What are you? A bog body. Okay, that's terrifying. Slow moving, leathery, undead figure, wandering aimlessly until threatened. That one might be uh, good to um, hit with the torch. So we're gonna do that. You failed to cause any damage to the bog body with a lit torch. Blunt appeared to be ineffective. All right, cool. I guess in that case, we'll just build this torch here and we'll fight. <laughs> we'll, we'll just fight it with our... Hey, what I do? Oh, there's a skeleton. Skellington. We got some trousers we can dismantle for some cloth. It's actually pretty good. Um, let's build what I want to do with that. And where's our shield? Let's equip this back to our hand, offhand. Okay, this skeleton's a little more aggressive, so. Let's not get double teamed by bog body and skeleton here. They, they really want to. 
Skeleton's gonna perish and we'll Wow, these give a lot of these orbs of influence. Oh, okay. This thing is um it is resistant to blunt slashing and piercing and is vulnerable to oh god. <laughs> Am I meant I'm probably not meant to fight those in that case. Probably supposed to just run away. Fine by me, they're kind of terrifying. <laughs> Hobgob on those. Can I can I cook on the torch I put down on the ground? I absolutely can. Okay, perfect. Um, well, come here, Hobgoblin. You're not very scary. Your friend there is, but you aren't. Um. Mm mm mm. Yummy. Hobgoblin meat. I was trying to start a fire underneath it. Which also is just not doing anything. Maybe I should stop starting fire, just random fires everywhere. <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea. Are you? Oh, Jelly Cube, okay. Oh, hey, there's a jelly. <laughs> it, 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 it made a child. And that one split and made another child. There's a lot going on right now. Come here, slime. Come here. You made more. Thankfully, these bog bodies are not aggressive. They just kind of walk around on their own. Uh, we got lots of uh, lots of good things. Oh, a snare. Oh. Uh oh. Thankfully, they're not very harmful. But yeah, this is why I was thinking maybe I should build a door because <laughs> these things are just like. I could b build the snare. <laughs> I all. What do you do to fight these? Because <laughs> they, they don't seem to really care about anything. Hmm. I probably want to make a door if I'm going to be in this area in any capacity because otherwise we're just going to have a whole bunch of things just deciding they want to like clog up our way. But that was um, entertaining at the very least. We do have access to, to these trees though if we, for our um, for our purposes of um, what you call it. Yeah. Well, uh, let's put all this slime away, because, I mean, it, I can, like, actually, I do need to drink some water, so we can actually utilize this slime. Okay, I can let you from the back. Can I use you from the back to make uh, this glue? Let's gather some seawater. Absolutely, that doesn't make any sense, but you know what? It's fine. That's not my problem. <laughs> I will gleefully do it if it even if it doesn't make much sense. Being said, we can use the uh the woven fabric we got from the pants of the hobgum we killed to um make a bandage, which is more healing items. 
I am a fan of that, and we're gonna use all this slime from that uh, one big slime that decided to come play with us. We're gonna make a whole bunch of glue and just make and enhance a lot of shit. So far, so good though with this adventure though. It's it's gone pretty well for us. All things considered, like we've got like a million freaking uh, benign here. It looks like that actually transfers mal from malign to benign score-wise, so, like, since our benign's already maxed, like, we can't really go much higher than that, but... It doesn't matter much anyhow, because we'll, uh, be able to cash that in for lots of level-ups or lots of, uh, built, like, tool-making and stuff like that. Because most of those things that, like, make yourself stronger or build up, like, a base tend to, um, raise your malign, which you don't want that if you're trying to, like, not get owned by a lot of critters. Because the, the, the wildlife on the island tend to not appreciate you, um, doing things like that. Alright, well, I made all this glue. Part of me is tempted to use it on all my boat, but that's probably not going to really be super useful. Let's go through some of our tools that we haven't really paid attention to in a while. Fix them up. Reinforce some of them with glue and all that. Uh, let's see. Shovel. We've had this one shovel for for like forever. This knife, though, we've had that for almost the longest of anything. Cause I think I lucked out really early and made this bomb ass knife. So let's uh let's reinforce that with some glue. Ultimately, it's a bit more durable than it was. Fix this hammer and then we'll reinforce it. Having good hammers is also nice because you use hammers to repair a lot of things, so having hammers that do that is ideal. Yeah, we're gonna just reinforce like this hammer a bunch with like everything we have. Okay, so now this hammer has a good amount of durability. We'll fix this hammer, and what we're gonna do is have this hammer for um, have this hammer for main repairs, and we'll have this hammer for backup repairs. All right, let's see. Let's make let's repair our other stuff too. Well, just while we're at it, might as well. Sweet. Well, since we have a very large amount of, uh, of available, uh, benign... Until we just get a bunch of strength level ups, which... Eh, whatever. That's what- if that's what happens, then that's what happens. I'm gonna try to get enough leaves to make a, uh, bedroll. So we're gonna just kinda strip some of these, uh, trees. Causing ourselves a little bit of harm by not resting when it would be ideal to do so. I'm almost certain that we need a string to make this bed roll, so let's get some stamina back by kind of just hanging out. You can hold, you can hold sp the space key to just kind of wait in place. 
I have a feeling since we're overweight that we're not gonna be gaining any more stuff, so let's just eat some food. There we go. Now we're no longer eating, we're neither overweight nor <laughs> are we, uh. We'll just build this. Just because it's in our inventory, and those hobgoblins drop those snares. It's kind of cool, but. Yeah, I think we need to dismantle some of this bark to make some string. Uh... Oh, we need cordage. Which we have, but we need, uh... Wait. It only says we have two leaves. Does he not count as leaves? Uh, I don't think they count as leaves. That's weird. Let's see. Ah, you can't use you can't use cypress leaves to make those. That's uh interesting. Well, you know what? It's fine. We'll just we can just sleep on the boat. Matter of fact, we can just go out here and sleep on the boat and have sharks ambush us at night. You have slept for about three hours. There we go. Nice. Had a nice little, had a nice little nap on our boat. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna just drop most of this other stuff on the ground because our our main prerogative is um, let's move these to the uh, small bag. Cause yeah, we're we're a little short on kindling. We have a lot of tinder, cause like. All these like blades of grass can be used as tender, which is nice. I guess we can use this tree bark as kindling too. It's usually better used for other things, but I just don't really care. All right, then we'll just kind of drop these cypress cones on the ground too, or whatever. We're just kind of being a litter bug right now, but that's fine, because I don't care. <laughs> All right, so we are thirsty, so let's take a sip of water. We've got purified water here, but thanks to our, uh, Detach the container, pour and attach another container. Detach container, pour and attach. So we got fr more water there. Let's eat one of our more decayed things of fish and other than the bones, which I think the hobgoblin was just dropping a bunch of bones when we killed him. It also was a skeleton, I think, too, so... Yeah. Okay, rub this counterclockwise. Get some more... Get some, get some more, uh... Oh, you sure want to step there? Stepping on a snare is dangerous! Yeah, I don't want to do that. That is something you can turn off, but I usually just do ill-advised things accidentally, so it's nice being uh, able to not just get destroyed by my, by my own hubris. <laughs> okay, let's make another uh, suture here for healing and in case we uh, need to heal some HP while we're fighting, because... Oh, yeah. We're gonna make a... Uh... Let's 
a door. Which a door takes six planks and some dowels, which... As you can see, if you, if you just spend a little bit of time cutting down trees, you can get so much of this bark. That's not even funny. Uh, we're, we're gonna need... Uh, just some... There we go, there's the door. We drop all those planks, drop like all this bark somewhere too. We don't just don't need it with us. Don't need this other pole either. So we'll just kind of keep that there too. Drop this in the little the bone zone. <laughs> that's where that that's what that is. I don't want to step on the damp. I'm gonna step on that several times, aren't I? All right, let's see if those things are still down here. Well, it looks like they are Well, there's a skeleton there. Joke's on you, asshole. I got a door now. <laughs> Great, that, that, that little skeleton is going to just be waiting out there now. But at least having this door here will keep things from blocking off our escape route as easily. Okay, then we'll ignite this again and... Clobber the skeleton. For now, we'll just uh, leave its bones here because we just don't really, don't really need to take them with us. But if we want them, they'll be down here at least. Right. Our main reason for being here is this iron, and I guess these bog bodies aren't aggressive, so we'll just kind of. Can you not, please? Wandering aimlessly until threatened. Well, I'm not bothering you. So don't don't mind me, just mining the you asshole. Ow. Yeah, they're not very threatening, so we're just gonna ignore them while they're just trying to smack on us. We'll just drop all these rocks. Oh that's coal, not iron. Well useful anyway. We'll just have to look for other iron veins around here. Oh, there's another slime. What do we have down here? There's some iron. And this is a locked tin chest. Okay, let's not, um... Use some coal to add like a lot of fuel to this. So let's uh build this and maybe we can repair it with our hammer that way. Uh, let's see. We can, okay, so our... No, we repaired a granite hammer. Anyway, we have a lock pick. We're gonna try to use this. You failed to pick the lock. Okay, let's try again. I'm fully expecting this lock pick to break before we even get close to getting into this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we did. We got it open. Uh, let's. Oh. There's stuff in here. Let's see. There is a, a tin lock pick, which I guess is better. A tattered map. A tin ingot. Ooh. An orb of influence. Always nice. All right. And uh, this tin chest itself, which a little heavy, but that's fine. Main prize is all this iron here.
drop all this granite. Oh, what the fuck are you? A boggling. Yeah, we don't want we don't want to deal with that. Let's um Is it aggressive? <laughs> it 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 seems like it is probably aggressive. I mean, I guess I'll try fighting it, but it's probably gonna hurt. Oh, we, we need to... Equip to main hand, equip to off hand, and... All right, well, it has been destroyed. A granite bullet, huh? Look like it's that that resistant to damage. <laughs> Rip. Well, whatever. Oh, the bog body is still bothering us. I bet if I had a better weapon, these would not be nearly as uh, resilient. You jerk. <laughs> Screw you. Screw you guys. I'm leaving. <laughs> So I don't think this is even really that far away from where we were anyway. Like, we could just travel over land to get back to our ship and drop off the iron and then go back down there to where all that iron was and get more. Because, yeah, that's the, main, that's the main reason we are here on this island is to get iron because iron does not exist very commonly on the coastal biome that you start in. So we had to go find some, and we've definitely found some now. Uh, let's see, move to sailboat, move all the iron ore. It's a lot of iron ore. We'll also store this chest too, because I think this uh, tin chest is, yeah, tin chest has higher food preservation than the wooden one we have at home, so this is just objectively better. We might also be able to dismantle it for um, some tin ingots later. If we want to make some metal or something out of it. Okay, counterclockwise. Let's get some more some more benign for our troubles. Store that. We'll store this tin ingot itself. Repair that. Repair that. Okay. Zephyr Hayes Crafts has joined the Bean Army. Thank you for the follow, Zephyr Hayes Crafts. How are you? I hope you're doing well today. Appreciate the follow. Let's, uh, just gonna leave this here, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I did realize I just, like, left my torch burning in the on the floor down there, which, I mean, that's fine. It's whatever. We're gonna be going back there anyway to get more, uh, iron from the walls. It's, not, it's very easy to get back down there because there is numerous entrances. Like this one. Bog body's just kind of hanging out near our, our stuff anyway. Uh, let's cut up this bog monster and it gives us rotting vegetation and compost. Well, you, you can keep that. I don't really need that. Uh, the peat might be useful. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Peat. A dried mass of sponge like plants, great for fu fire fuel and composting. Eh. We could probably, we could probably add it to our, uh, our torch over here for more fuel. These bog bodies are a little obnoxious. They're, they don't really hurt you much. At least, since I have armor, they don't really hurt me much. Yeah, I'm not really too worried about the. Oh, ran right into one. Like these, these are more a little more obnoxious than they are dangerous. Like ordinarily, I would not want having be like I would not want to be attacked by like much of anything, let alone multiple things. But these bog bodies just don't really hurt you much.
Like, they do, like, one damage at tops, and even then, probably not. We're gonna take a drink of water while just getting attacked by these, like, monstrosities in the dark. Mmm, got some stamina back. Let's just continue mining some more iron. Because that's why I'm down here, is mining iron. Alright, we're just gonna... Leave. <laughs> okay, the granite was weighing us down, and we we're out of... Uh, stamina, so we we're taking a bit of damage by our own hubris, but you know what? That's fine We're just gonna we're just gonna slowly but surely walk back to our boat Drop off this iron and then we'll probably come back down that ca cave and look for more because Yeah, might as well just get a bunch of it while we're here. It's, it doesn't weigh much Let's see, we could probably eat some food. Let's see, which one of these, I think this uh, fish steak is the least alive, if you if you will. Man, these, there's just sharks everywhere, and they're just very tasty, so we'll probably end up uh, clobbering some more. Okay, let's transfer all this iron we just found to... Uh, boat this boat holds so much stuff it's it's a little silly uh, let's see we got any more water done over here purified 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 and purified so we will swap bottles out so let's detach this container pour the seawater in and attach that container all right so now we, we we've restocked on water our torches are a bit more, uh, are in good condition. It's, they're gonna just bother me, so we're gonna just, uh, I mean, we don't really need to kill the sharks for food right now, because we have, we have plenty of, of shark steaks that will keep us fed for a, a good bit while we're exploring, so it's not really worth our time killing the sharks. Oh, what did I run into? Some rocks? You can have that back. <laughs> Let's go over here. There's like a bunch of bog bodies hanging out over here, and I don't really want to deal with them. Oh, there's another one. Not very scary. Okay, let's uh equip in the main hand and let's ignite and let's look for some more iron. This is some swamp water. There's some mo a moss covered book. Is this more iron? Nice. Okay. Looking like a lot more iron. There's another moss cover book. Okay, let's um. Oh, don't be like that. <laughs> it's just like it's like I have the upper hand now. All right, we're gonna have to switch to a drop on chop to where so like all this stuff goes into this one spot. You know, I need some more stamina. We're just gonna drink some water. Ow! Rude. Don't poison me. That's not very nice. I'll deal with the poisoning soon. I don't really need to yet, but soon we will deal with it. I am watching my health, though. Okay, let's drop, like, all these, all the stuff that's not iron, just drop all of it, like, there. Okay, do the same 
that's Okay, now we're gonna actually cure the poison. Let's get these bog bodies to like go away. Cause there's still a bunch of there's still a good amount of iron over there. Okay. Okay, let's just toss all the iron we had in there in that bag. Ow, asshole. <laughs> Alright, pick up that, drop all the rocks. Alright, cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Frank, I think that might be like enough iron for now. So we might just like leave this whole area. It's like this island, go back to back home. It's good to know that this place does have iron though. Very nice. I wasn't expecting it to. I was expecting this to just be kind of like a, a waste of time, but no, it's not. We actually found a bunch of iron. Let's see, there's some plants around here. What we have? That's a cl clematis. I don't really care for that. You can use, you can use it to get co grow cordage, which is nice, I guess. But trees already do that, so I don't have as big of a stake in that. Planks. It is cool how fertile soil just kind of exists here, so if you want fertile soil, you can just come here and get it. Instead of having to, like, make it yourself, I guess. Good for growing plants in, as you may expect. Alright, move all this, uh, iron ore to the sailboat. We've got a lot of iron from this place, which is really good, actually. Let's move all this coal, too. There's not much, but might as well. All right, let's extinguish our torch. Close that. Purify, purify, purify. Okay, so all these solar stills are done with their, with their water making. So we're going to... Okay, yeah. It, case in point, if you if you if you if you make water in these stills, take the container out before you pick up the stills, or the water will go will be poured out, which you don't want because you know you want you know the water. Hey, these solar stills are frankly amazing. You can just kind of carry them with you wherever you go. And in fact, I think we're going to try to do the same thing with this kiln, too. The, the kiln might be way a little much, though. Oh, no. It fits. <laughs> Sweet. So, with this kind of setup, we can um, repair any glass stuff we have with us with this granite kiln that we can just haul around with us in our ship. And we've got all this water now, because we... Here for the water. Is there anything else I want to take back with me? Probably these bones. That's probably about it. Speaking of that, we did have some bones down here underground. That I'll take back with us. Because I was like, oh, we can keep these here for later. And, well, it's now considered later, so. Let's see. I know there was a, a cotton plant around here somewhere that I saw. I think it's probably further this way. Cause I remember we discovered a cotton plant and I was like, oh, it's not gr gr grown yet or something. So we didn't really bother it. There's a, it's a big ass rat. It makes all the rules. Ooh, tomato. I don't think we need that. I think we have some seeds for that back home, but I think cotton is the thing I haven't really found much of yet. So I was really excited to possibly get some cotton. Is that up? I think that might be it. either it's, it's either cotton or it's like chives up here. Let's see. That is in fact cotton. All right, let's turn off a uh, drop on chop. That did get us cotton seeds, which when we get back home, we can plant in a ripened place. 
like a uh, fertile soil and have it spread and get more. Which eventually will let us have our own, make our own fabric out of cotton instead of having to like make it out of like string or something. God damn it. I keep running into these little rock piles <laughs> that are hard to see unless you're like zoomed in pretty close. That might have been a different cotton actually because I remember seeing some and it wasn't really fully grown yet. But then again, it might be that too. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter much because we have the cotton, so that's all I really care for. That was another thing I was hoping to find here, and we found it. We also found iron, which is even better. What is... A mud skipper. Slippery fish that appears to come to land for feeding. Its bulgy eyes and large geek mouth make it quite the sight. It's Mudkip. It's Mudkip. Hi, Mudkip. They pro they're probably neutral or or passive, I would imagine. Oh, hey, it's swimming. It's it's swimming in the water. Oh, hey, we have sharks. Well, <clears throat> otherwise these aren't really worth their time dealing with, but. But now, before we leave, we should probably just kill them and take our, uh... Well, we can just melee with the axe from the from there without equipping it, but we're gonna... We're gonna equip our axe anyway, because... Yeah. we our, This axe is our, uh... Our best friend. Oh, it's already equipped. I'm a fool. I thought I still had a torch equipped or something. Maybe I did, and it auto-equipped the axe when I selected melee. Anyway, let's cut up these sharks, get a bunch of food and stuff for for nothing, basically. <clears throat> let's move uh, this container away from the Owen. Okay, more shark teeth for cutting things. More shark fins that just drop in the ocean, back in the ocean. Alright, we'll just swim across the, the small stretch of sea, as you do. Sometimes you just gotta go for a swim. <laughs> Alright, we'll start a little beach fire because I make questionable decisions. Uh, let's do that, let's... Probably do something I regret, which would be using clean water for making glue. Let's not do that. Let's uh, use we'll use seawater. The seawater is basically infinite. Like you'd you'd probably be pretty hard pressed to run out of seawater in this game. I'll I'll tell you that. And then let's go ahead and cook up these sharks. These uh, fish steaks. Oh, the fire went out. Well, let's start it again. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, that's f even more fish steaks. Yeah, I came here with like. With, was running out of food, and now I've just got like so much fish that it doesn't even matter. At this point. Oh, apparently this, uh, there's a trapdoor spider or something that, uh, got caught in my snare and died. That's funny. I didn't even set it up for the purpose of catching anything, yet I did. Neat. Anyway, um... Well, we got some glue. Let's go ahead and use it to, like, reinforce... I know one of these bottles is like really close to breaking. This one. A glass blowing skill still leaves something to be desired, but that's okay. 
All right, is there anything else I want to take with me amongst this stuff on the beach here? Probably not. I think for the most part, I was just coming here for for resources, and I got a lot of resources. So let's uh, let's set sail. Little boat's kind of cute. There's a there's a snake on the shore. I mean, you could probably fight it, but I don't want to get poisoned, so let's uh, not. And we came from this direction to get here, so we'll leave this direction to get back. We'll just leave this way. Once we hit the, the edge of the map, we'll be able to travel. And the Island of Calm Breezes is our home. We are here in the wetlands. Weedy Shores is another coastal that we could go to if we really wanted to, but we want to go back home. And we've spent some days away, so I'm guessing this is advancing it by the amount of days that we were away. Time-wise, like decay and all that kind of stuff, like plants growing and all that, you know. Okay, we, oh, we arrived at the Island of Calm Breezes. We are a little uh, hungry, as you can see. So we, we got some fish steaks we can definitely chow down on to fix that. A little OP, honestly. Being able to just like kill sharks, turn them into fish steaks, and then just eat, just live off of them, basically. And we'll drink a bottle of water. And then let's figure out where we are. Okay, we are on like the southern, the southern part of this island part here. I mean, we did come from the south, so that makes sense. Should be able to go up this, this coast and get to our base. Okay, yep, there's a little cabin we found uh, earlier on in the playthrough. So we're actually pretty close to getting home. Yep, here we are. We have made it back to our base. And, ooh, the pineapple's growing. We're just gonna pull up, we'll just park our boat here. And start, organi start organizing our stuff. Drop bones, drop bone fragments. We got medical stuff. We'll just remake some medicine water because we used up the one that we brought with us. So it would be wise to, um. Let's rest and then we'll kind of survey our garden here and see how things are going. And we'll also probably get stuff out of the boat and go from there. We can, uh. We can put, we can bury this back, because there's not really anything, there's not really anything good down there I really want, so I'm not really worried about it right now. Ugh. I don't know if I have a stretch redeem, but that's probably a good one, because stretching is a wise thing to do, especially if you're sitting around a lot, you know? Ooh, my coffee's a little cold. Well, by a little, I mean a lot, so I'm going to finish it off. Ah. Delicious bean juice. Or bean water, rather. It's not really juice.
cool thing is like like your initial like uh, clothing that you get here you can like dismantle that for uh for some uh fabric that you can use then use to make a sail <laughs> if you if you keep your clothing in good enough re repair that is or you can do what I'm doing and just turn it into bandages for healing or whatever. Uh, we're a little thirsty, so let's do some drinking. And now let's sleep in our nice little leaf bed here. We could probably, if at some point, make a better bed. But I think that needs feathers, and our chicken is still fairly um, new to us, so I don't think we have enough feathers. All right. Is our leaf bed roll broken? I think it's nearly broken. Okay, now we can we can repair it and then place it back down so we can sleep in it again. All right. Probably have some friends outside. Hmm. <laughs> no. Oh well, the chicken has uh, produced a feather at least two. We've been um, providing it with some seeds, as you can see. <laughs> There's quite a few seeds there. Okay, we got this cucumber plant here that we can, uh... It get, it's gonna give us, um... Uh, let's see, a, a remarkable cucumber. If I can move this somewhere else, which we are gonna be able to. Nice. I was afraid of moving this cucumber anywhere else. Um... before I get another uh, remarkable one. Because ideally we want to like have remar well, uh, high the higher tier plants you have, the better... Um, like the higher tier plants you have, the better stuff you get from them. I mean, it makes sense. Alright, so let's see. Six, we will... Oh, there's another chicken up there. We should probably probably tame that one too. Okay, we'll plant the the remarkable seeds there. Yeah, I probably need to uh, make this garden area a little bit bigger. Maybe we can do that next time because this time was mostly focused on trying to find iron and in any way possible and it turned out we had to go to another island to do so but that's okay though we, we found it Let's eat that because that's gonna go bad the soonest <clears throat> yeah I'm probably gonna expand this uh, farm up that way some more next time on that note, if that's the case, we're gonna dig up some dirt and start f covering up the this uh, gravel. Eventually, actually made it to the stone layer, so let's uh put that back down, and we'll dig somewhere else. Now, what I want to do is plant some grass here. I think it's six for Owen. Okay. Let's hold this up. Eventually, thank you. So I like having the grass on the edges like this. Because, I mean, it's just kind of nice. So we'll plant some grass there. We'll plant some there, too. And then we need to find some other grass to uh, 
appropriate, but we also just have, I think this is grass seeds wholesale, so we need three. Pick up those. Because early on, getting a, a lots of getting lots of benign is the easiest done by just digging up grass and replanting grass over and over again. So we just have a bunch of extra seeds, but since we're going to actually use some seeds, we'll just put them here. And we'll kind of let that go as we're doing other things, and eventually they'll be fully grown and we'll be fine. We'll be able to get some more fence posts put in. We need like four more, and then we can move everything over. And that'll let us garden a lot more spaces. Because right now it's a little cramped. Because I want to keep this one here to get more uh, blue quality cucumbers, possibly. Yeah, space is going to be at a premium. We could forego most of this if we built like an indoor kind of like garden. But I don't know if that works necessarily. So for now we're going to just uh, exist it right here. This area eventually might be better suited for a garden because there's just more space, but for now, we're just gonna let that go. Okay, let's close you, close you, we'll move. Place grass to the small bag. <clears throat> Cucumber seeds. These beggar ticks are ripening though, so we can grab their seeds and the, the flowers from them as well. And then they'll just regrow again. Uh, we did get some green seeds. Nice. So let's uh, six right here. We'll plant some more of you. We've got a nice little uh, green cucumber here. Let's. Grab and just some normal quality cucumbers. Yeah, because currently right now we're kind of stuck in here with this setup. So I probably need to like expand this out some more too uh, this way. Which means moving all this garbage that I have been just kind of keeping in piles around the place. more stones it looks like it is that a smooth granite looks like it so we'll just kind of add that <clears throat> I mean it may seem obvious but even like with these normal cucumbers like this it still just gives us food and these cucumbers are pretty good like three hunger and three hydration so like you can survive just pure off cucumbers once you have enough of them planted and each plant gives you two per, which isn't as much as apples, but they give better stats than apples. So I think overall cucumbers are a better, it probably balances out overall, but like, I don't know. Cucumbers are just cool. <laughs> cool as a cucumber. I could probably make, I could probably also just build another gate here too. So maybe we should make some more gates. There's just plenty to do that doesn't even involve what I did today. Two logs, so. Two dowels, one plank, two logs. There's some planks there, but those are like kind of stronger planks. <clears throat> well, I am gonna need to, if I'm gonna put fences there I'm gonna need these trees to not exist in their current position anymore so we're gonna facilitate that what the fuck is that a wisp where did you come from well I don't want it I don't want it to, to like hurt any of my critters so if it comes close we'll probably fight it or maybe it'll just kind of go away I don't know A rare sight indeed I mean if you want to come over here I'll uh, I'll welcome you to the island <laughs> K 
carrying too much? Well, yeah, logs. No shit, right? Um, are these logs anything? Uh, kind of. Twigs too. It'll help us start fires, and um, we'll drop like all this stuff for making uh, string. We'll just kind of put it on the beach here. Oh, no idea where that wisp came from, but it sure did. Ooh, our pineapple has grown. Just kind of like just figured I'd grow it for extra food. No real reason other than it's just extra. And we can dismantle it up for seeds and we'll just plant it on the beach over here, I guess. Enjoy. Enjoy enjoy your life as a pineapple, I guess. <laughs> just enjoy being a pineapple. Sometimes you just gotta enjoy the little things in life, like being a pineapple, I guess. Uh so two logs. One plank. So what we can do is we can take a... Uh... We gotta cut down another tree anyway, so... We can put all the stuff we need to craft uh, two gates in this pile. Yeah, whatever. And we just need to get two more logs, and we'll be able to put, just put them in this pile, and then, um... Okay, the snake's just not bothering us, even though it probably should, because it's not tamed. They're not inherently aggressive, but... Well, this tree's a little fucked. I wonder what happened to it. Uh, let's just dismantle this stuff, I guess. Uh, that was my hang up of doing stuff like this is that like if I was trying to go around this way I'd have to walk by the snake which is um possibly harmful to myself because it might just bite me as you know you know as snakes tend to do sometimes they sometimes you know bite people <laughs> okay let's drop these logs here we'll just dismantle the rest Put a um, fence here. For now. Or a gate, rather. And we'll just kind of keep extra fences in this pile right here. Because I think I am going to, like, extend the farm out this way some more, too, so that I can have, like, these two areas where they can freely propagate plants like this without being in my way in both directions so we'll see how that goes <sighs> we're gonna drop all this other cordage stuff on the ground 
right in that pile. Rotting vegetation, that's probably some of the apples I had left over that I didn't get to eat. Which we'll not be, we'll, we will not be eating that. <laughs> Just to give you some, uh, yeah, we're not gonna eat that. <laughs> um, I mean, we got two more beggar ticks planted that are green, so I feel fine ripping this up now. Uh, so, in that case, we are going to plant, I think we had some, some cotton seeds. Yeah, we want to plant these, and those can kind of grow while we're figuring out everything else. Let's eat a worm and then eat a delicious cucumber. For now, we're gonna drop the logs back over here instead because we're gonna need to uh, move things a little bit to facilitate this going in. Matter of fact, we're gonna have to move all the stuff I just moved here somewhere else because I'm gonna make it like bigger that way too. Which means this is actually... Yeah, whatever. It needs to say any beach sand that we... That is in the way of this stuff is gonna get dug up because it's actually pretty valuable stuff. In comparison to like the gravel or whatever. I don't know if gravel is even useful for anything. Let's, we'll drop the gate over here in the pile where I have this stuff. Because yeah, we're going to have to make a bunch more like fence posts and all that. Before we're finished with this. Uh, Alright, well. I'm going to finish moving this stuff out of the way at the very least before we uh end because it is basically it's pretty it's time to basically end this stream which is the first stream of the day but I want to get this stuff all moved out of the way so I can kind of like a clear idea of what I was doing because it's gonna be an entire week before I play this again so uh, I'll probably forget otherwise like the only reason I even like remembered that like I wanted metal is because like last stream's title was like called like the search for metal. I was like, oh yeah, I probably need metal for something. Speaking of which. For now we're gonna just empty out all the uh iron ore onto like the beach and <laughs> we can like kinda haul it piecemeal into the base. Mostly so I don't forget to to get the iron out, and then we go to, like to another island or something, and be just like full of garbage. All right, well that's basically all we got time for today. For with Wayward, we're gonna save, and we're gonna exit the game. And we'll cut the game. All right, so let me put my ending thing up now. So, that is the end of today's first stream. Uh, uh, I have two others planned. The next one being after lunch would be probably around like noon when I'd start again, which is going to be, I'll be continuing Shadows Over Loathing, which is a fun kind of like silly RPG in the kingdom, based off of the Kingdom of Loathing um, browser-based game that's been around for a billion years, it feels like. So I'll be playing that later on t today, and this evening around like probably like five or six, I'll be the, my third stream, and I'll be continuing the new mod pack in Minecraft that I am playing, which is Skyopolis Five. So if either of those sound interesting, hopefully I'll see you later today. 
But before we stop, I let's see if I can find someone to raid. Let's take a gander at who's live. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Well, I can't really f see anyone on my friends list that I necessarily would like to raid. Um. Let's see. Alrighty, well, 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 I'll probably just have to end, and we'll be able to hopefully be able to raid someone later. But yeah, I'm gonna end the stream, and hopefully, I will be back around noon to start shadows to continue shadows over loathing. So, if I don't see you then, I'll see you next time. Y'all have a great day.